Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm Deborah, by the way. And this is the Saturday vloggy thing where I catch up with what's been going on or not going on for the entire week. I do this once a week and this is number 60 something, okay? I've been doing this more than a year now. Uh, wow, it's been busy with work, still. My schedule is settling down a little bit. Um, only worked four hours today instead of eight, so yay. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a process and uh, At the job we had a new entirely new way of doing things for our team that my uh, the, the supervisor that I support and I had to put together get a presentation ready and implement it the implementation starts Monday Let's hope it goes well, let's just hope Okay, all the fingers crossed. So it should be exciting. Hopefully it'll make things run smoother for the team. I know that's all pretty vague, but it's just work stuff and you know, the stress of work stuff, basically. And me not getting enough sleep and that's my own doing. The hubby blames himself. He's like, I keep you up too late because we're watching stuff on, on TV, which is YouTube for us mostly. I'm like, dude, you know, I am a grown ass woman and I know what I should be going to sleep. And I don't. Now I do get distracted and you know into things and doing things, but gotta live a little too, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's that. So I am super tired. Yay! I hope that you saw the wrap up for the uh, Yarnivores monthly theme hashtag Yarnivores monthly theme. Uh, May was May flowers. June there is a video up for me. And I will link it up here. Hopefully I remember what I'm pointing up about when I look at this in the editing software. Uh, <laughs> but it will be about the June theme, which is Boho Hippie Style. Yes. Be sure and watch the video so you know the rules and know what's going on. And it's going to be lots of fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint or crochet or what. But it'll be something. You saw the thumbnail. There is a box. It's from Little Knits. Show you that in a little while. Yes. I also have, I'm waiting on something from Amazon um, <laughs> that's actually for my stuff for outside, for the plants and things, tangentially. I've got a bird bath coming. I'm kind of excited about that. So that is coming. I know, I'm excited about a bird bath. I am officially middle aged, okay? Like, also literally yeah. birthdays in a couple of weeks the birthday week will have lots and lots of giveaways so make sure that you pay attention for what's going on that week I haven't exactly planned out exactly what I'm doing yet but there will be plenty of giveaways because you know I'm off the whole week of, of that week I take off my week for my birthday pretty much every year you know the older you get the more you can do that I guess and I still I like to celebrate I like to make sure that I at least get some kind of cake I try to make sure that I get to have my uh, shaved ice from Nomadic Few up in uh, Powdersville South Carolina oh my gosh best shaved ice ever seriously and uh, other than that you know try to go out to eat and have a few yummy things oh speaking of eating I took the leap and I have put it in order with a meal kit service. <laughs> Try it out just to see if it helps us a little bit with our portion control. And they're easy to cook and easy to make. So hopefully it'll keep us from going. I don't feel like cooking. We're just going somewhere. It's a bad habit we've gotten into. And uh, yeah, you could do three days. You could do three, you know, sets of meals a week or four. We did five. Yeah. Especially for the the first uh, week, it's like a buck seventy nine a meal, you know, per meal. So like for the two of us, it's less than five bucks, including tax and all of that. So we'll try it out. And then the second week and the third week are each twenty percent off. We'll see how it is. I'll tell you about it once I get it, and I might even film the unboxing of it or something. It's supposed to come on Tuesday. I didn't want anything to come in on Monday because Mondays are still my busy, crazy days. Lots of meetings. Too many meetings. Too many meetings. Yeah, most of it's stuff that could be handled in an email, but 
If you worked in any kind of corporate environment, you know exactly what I mean. Anywho, lots of, yeah, that's lots of stuff. That's lots of stuff this week. Still no AC in the car. I'm looking at, I see the car, you know, through the window out there. Um, what are you going to do? I, I don't feel like spending the money to get it fixed. I'd rather spend the money on another car, quite honestly. But I'm not going to do that right now. So we're just going to have, you know, 255 or 455 AC. Four windows down, 55 miles an hour. My hair stays up most of the time now. Yeah. <laughs> because otherwise it's like, it's bad. <laughs> it means bad staying up anyway. But do not scratch that. Pardon me. My cat, Oscar, is scratching the bed. He's having a hard time jumping today. I think he's feeling a little bit old. Let me see if I can grab him and show him to you. I'm going to pause this for just a sec. See, that was worth a jump in the video, wasn't it? You get to see my sweet boy. Hi. Are you a good boy? He's purring. He's obviously a good boy. Oh, love scratchings. I say he must be feeling kind of old. He has some days when he's just as spry as he was when he was a kitten. And he has some days when jumping up on things is a little bit more difficult. This morning, he likes to get up on my desk. And he usually doesn't jump straight up to the desk. There's always something up there. He jumps on the thing that's next to me and then looks and is like, can I come up? And I scooch back and let him up. Today, he tried jumping up on the little thing next to me and he didn't make it. I was like, oh, he's having a day. He's having a day. But they can't tell us. They can't voice it out. You know, I don't know what you're trying to go look at. You should be looking here where your friends are. Oscar. Yeah. They want to see your pretty face. He's annoyed with Mama, obviously. Get your claws out. Oh, I'll well, hold you like this. What are you purring about? Yes, we spoil him. What you gonna do? Gotta spoil the cat boy. Are you booping, Mama? Mama boop you too. Boop. He's purring his butt off. Oh, there's shadows up there from the extra lights being on and the fan going. He's like, wow. Can we put you down so you can look at stuff? Okay, uh, no chomping. There will be no chomping. There you go. Go back. Go back to the bed. Okay. You've seen Oscar. I may put another picture of him at the end, though. You know, because I can't help myself. Also, at the end, there will be pictures of plants and tomato plants. I might have to take a picture of them before I water them. I stepped out to grab that box a minute ago because it was out on the porch. And I saw that, oh, yes, they're asking for water. Yeah, so that, that's going to happen, and then I'll post everything up. But, um, hmm, to the crochet. To the crochet! It's like, get to the chopper. I don't know. All right, the temperature, I don't have much done in crochet this week. I'll tell you that straight up. The temperature blanket is uh, on its way, of course. I am caught up. I have not done today's square, which would be for yesterday's temperatures yet, because I always do that later on. Oh, there's my six. It was upside down. Because <laughs> I'm a doofus. I know, it doesn't look much like a six. I'm really bad at doing numbers and, and putting them on there. But it works enough for me. The inside color is the low. The outside color is the high, in case you are new here. And that's just the part that is not attached yet. The rows are 19 squares across. And it will be 18 rows by the time it's done. Excuse me, 19, 20 rows. Good grief. 19 across, 20 down. Can't even remember my own design, all right? This is what it's looking like so far. The white joins them. This is out of uh, Hobby slash Hobie, however you say it, Amigo yarn in DK because I wanted it to be not a humongous blanket. I live in the South. We don't need anything humongous. But I like the way it's not too heavy and I can still put things together. So 
yeah, I'm loving the blues and the purples and the teals all together. I think it looks kind of cool myself. I am rather proud of it. So there is that. So that is caught up. And I have kept that promise to myself to keep this caught up. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that. I usually have a hard time keeping up with stuff like that. But that is my, you know, if I can't crochet anything else, which yesterday I didn't, I was just wiped out. I crocheted my square and attached it and woven the ends and did all of it. But I accomplished that. So I, I've been crocheting every single day. I did finish one other thing. Oh, there's one end that I have. Oh, did. oh, embarrassing. I don't know if I showed you this last week or not. Maybe I think I did actually. Yeah, this was from the uh, hashtag rock 2022 AU. Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. Um, you do your own craft. You do your own thing. You're just inspired by whatever the rock album of the half month is. Twice a month. First and the 15th. And for this time, this was for... Oh, I haven't started the June one yet. So <laughs> this was for the, the second one in May. This was from Kiss Dynasty. And this is just colors inspired by the album art. The album art was their four faces in full makeup. And you have the silver from Ace Freely. And there was some green in his makeup as well. Red, because most of them had like deep dark red lipsticks. The black, all the black is sparkle on this except for the border. And the silver is sparkle and the red is sparkle. The white and the green are not because I just didn't have any white or green sparkle at the time. But yeah, I figured for them, sparkle. They are like glam slash metal and they're still performing. What? I hope, I hope, I hope Gene Simmons is not wearing spandex. Nobody wants to see that. No, anyway. Got that, got my other stack of them there. Um, going to pause this and then you will see me in a different location. Um, or maybe in the same location, I haven't decided, opening that box. Oh, and uh, before I show you what's in the box, I have recently placed an order for a Mary Maxim mystery bag. I'm telling you, crystal bag a day, she's an enabler. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, ooh, pretties, gotta have, because I love mystery boxes and stuff too. Um... Oh, speaking of mystery boxes, Lisa Ladybird Loves has special mystery boxes from England. I will link her down below and above. Check her out because they are limited and you could get a real fun box. So, Little Knits, uh, it would be, you know, I, I went and opened the tape in the other room with some scissors and stuff because they're all about that tape, about that tape. No staples. Yeah, there was a lot of tape. So I did it elsewhere so that I could get through the different proof packaging. All right, let's just pull out something that I've ordered. Yes. Set that right there. Look at this beautifulness. I did treat myself, but you know what? It was a bargain treat. This was super wash wool. I wonder if there's an invoice in here because I don't remember what I paid. Oh yes, I think there's an invoice. Ah, stuck to the thing. Yeah, full bag sale. Full bag sale. Okay, that's what they do. And... $27.99 for five skeins of Kettle Dyed Superwash Merino, <laughs> right? This is Stratosphere taking Superwash wool to new heights. Look, that's what it says. That wasn't my cheesy line. This is the color Celestial. It is a DK weight. It is beautifully tonal. I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm looking for more details here. Uh, recommended needle size is a six. They don't mention anything about hook size because why would they? This is spun and dyed by Brown Sheep Company, Inc. 
in Mitchell, Nebraska, brownsheep.com, if you want to go to there and check out things in full prices. Each one of these hanks is about 238 meters. It's 100 grams. Isn't that a beautiful color? I don't know if my phone is showing it properly. It is, it is nicely tonal. There's some nice variation in there. And that is a really good three weight. Um, it has, it looks like, you know, there, there's a little stretch to it. And when you stretch it, it gets skinny. But I don't know what I'm going to make out of it, but it's probably going to be a garment for myself because I'm going to have something made of superwash merino. Because of course I am. But yeah, if you ever want, just, just check out Little Knits. I'm not, not affiliated at all. Okay, yeah, don't even. But check out their full bag sales. Look at their clearance. They have stuff as low as like 99 cents, you know, $1.50, $2 a ball, especially when you buy it by the five pack. Something else that I ordered was incredibly inexpensive. Um, $6.50 for a five pack. I didn't just get a five pack. I got 10 of them. This is Shack and Meyers, Scott and Doodle. I don't know. Shack and Meyer Colorful. I have used their yarn before, that brand, in different makeups. Um, these are, of course, it's in German. It's 70% polyacrylic. 30% wool. It's made in Romania. Um, each ball is 500 grams, I believe. No, that can't be right. Each ball is not. It's 500 grams, I think, for the for the five pack. Is there just an opening on this? Or is it completely sealed all the way around? Damn you and your Deborah-proof packaging. Oh. Fine. We'll rip it. I have to get in there. Oh, it's nice. There's wool in it, but it's not scratchy at all. Um, and it's new wool. You know, it's not super wash or anything like that. I'm looking for the deets here. Machine wash cold. Do not bleach. You wouldn't bleach your yarn. Do not tumble dry. Do not iron says dry clean only or dry flat. This is a four medium and it is a roving style. You can see that some of them are thick, some of them, you know, thin. It goes thick to thin as it goes, but it does average out to be a four weight. 50 gram balls. That's what it is. It's 50 gram balls, which are 70 meters and I have 10 of them. So I have 700 meters of this. I'm not sure what I'll make, but I definitely want to make myself something. This is a nice neutral. I don't normally go for neutrals, but I think that this will be pretty and something I could wear with something else, like towards the fall. It's like 90 degrees outside right now. Where, yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. You see, I am sleeveless. My hair is up, and right now I have no shoes on because I'm inside. But, yeah, I am looking forward to using some of this. I don't know why, how they show it works up. They're showing a really dark color. I'm not sure what that's all about. But this is a nice 70-30 mix. Actually, and, oh, I forgot. Along with ordering this, if you ordered five balls of uh, Shacken Studebaker, whatever it's called, you could get a free pattern book, a crochet pattern book. Oh, that is a Boston style yarn. I'm not sure what that means either, but look, this is not just a leaflet. Okay. Some beautiful hats in here. Tells you where you can get the yarn besides little knits. I am immediately drawn to the fingerless gloves because of course I am. Uh, let's see, a whole, just nicely done patterns in here. I'm trying to see the, there's some more pictures. Okay, they show you all the pictures and then they tell you in there where to go look for them. 
but look, like I say, cute slouchy hat. I love it. It says 11 easy projects on the front here. Luckily it's in English <laughs> so I can read it. It's not in German. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool and it's free with buying some yarn. I was like, all right, maybe it'll be something out of here that I make. You never know. Never know. But that was my little mini haul. Mini haul. I tend to do mini hauls lately because I have enough yarn. I have enough yarn. Then why do I keep ordering more? Oh, problems. Yeah. Anyway. Thank y'all for coming by today. I really appreciate it. Some links that popped up above if you were on uh, your mobile device. If you're watching on a TV, I know they don't pop up, uh, but you can click the I on your screen on the computer and get the information. Um, we'll have some links to other people, links to some of my playlists. You know, it's all good. I would love it if you hit the like button on your way out or on your way in or however that works. If you're not subscribed, I'd invite you to consider doing so. We have some fun around here. And remember, when I do have giveaways with mine, you got to be subscribed and I have to be able to see that you're subscribed. So you have to be publicly subscribed. Okay. And uh, look forward to hearing from you in the comments as well. Thank you again for coming by. There's a book look on Sunday. A book look. Finally, I did another one. Yes. And of course, throughout the week, there's time for tea, there's snacks around the world, hot taste, and anything else I can think of. <laughs> See y'all very soon. Bye now.